Welcome back everybody. Um, in this question we're going to be doing a Tomb of Checkmate for white. If you want you can pause the video and then uh, we'll go over the answer. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting position. Uh, it is a made up position obviously because black and white have a long long pawn chains like this. Uh, normally speaking this never happens in a game. Now, as we can see, our queen is under attack. We have a rook, but the access points for these pieces are actually blocked. Right? We can't successfully capture any of these pawns. Uh, for example, if we try to capture the a2 pawn with the rook, maybe black will try to take our queen. Um, they can also take the rook with the pawn too, but the important thing to realize is that black has to take something. The black king cannot go anywhere. We are... Preventing the king from going anywhere. So, if uh, black takes the rook. Now, there's no way for white to do a checkmate in one step. And black is about to promote. If we try to take one of these pawns with the queen. Uh, we'll be forcing the king to take it. But again, there's no checkmate in one step. So, the actual answer is uh, going to be a little bit tricky. You see... If we move the queen to anywhere, the opponent's pawns won't be able to take the queen. But because none of these pawns can actually move, and uh, neither can the king, this actually turns into a stalemate, so it's a draw. However, we can actually manipulate this fact and try to move the queen to b1. Again, none of these pawns can move except for the a-file pawn. Um, this will force them to take us. They can promote into a queen. It doesn't really matter. Uh, because they won't be promoting with a check. And now we can just bring the rook to a8 to do this back on checkmate. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, more videos are coming. And if you have any suggestions, any uh, ideas, anything we can try to improve on, uh, feel free to write it in the comment section.